There's a reason why Venus is often called the Hell Planet. Its average surface temperature is 864 degrees Fahrenheit, which is hot enough to melt lead. Its air is a suffocating stew of sulfuric acid and carbon dioxide, and its atmosphere is 90 times thicker than Earth's, which would literally crush you. Even so, Venus is a potential candidate for terraforming, which is a process that turns an inhospitable planet into one that could support life. As we continue to oversaturate resources on Earth, scientists at NASA and entrepreneurs like Elon Musk are looking to turn other planets into our new homes. So what are some of the crazy ideas to terraform our nearest neighbors, Venus and Mars? Let's start with Venus. This wild world is a terrestrial planet with similar size, mass, and density to Earth. It's also pretty close, 67 million miles away. We could get there by spacecraft in about five months versus the nine months it'd take to reach Mars, which is 140 million miles from Earth. And while Venus's atmosphere is a total hellscape, it does give us something to work with. At about 30 miles above the surface, Venus's atmosphere is pretty Earth-like, with atmospheric pressure similar to our planet. So some scientists believe building cities high above Venus's smoldering surface could be an option. This idea is known as HAVOC, High Altitude Venus Operational Concept. NASA's evolutionary plan would involve sending piloted aero shells into Venus's atmosphere. Once in place, the shells would release folded airships that look like blimps. The airships would then use Venus's carbon dioxide atmosphere to float. Another terraforming idea suggests cooling Venus down with a giant sun blocker. A sunshade mirror would be placed in between the sun and Venus. It'd need to be slightly larger than Venus's diameter to fully shade the planet. Over time, it'll cool the atmosphere down and block the planet from solar wind. As stellar as they sound, these ideas are just that, ideas. And they're both far from executable. So how about the plans to terraform Mars? Well, the red planet is super cold and has a very thin, unbreathable atmosphere comprised of 95% carbon dioxide. Yet its structure and presence of water are similar to Earth. To retrofit Mars, one idea proposes importing huge amounts of ammonia or hydrocarbons to create a livable atmosphere. These gases could potentially be mined from icy moons in the outer solar system like Titan. Infusing Mars's atmosphere with methane and other hydrocarbons could increase the atmospheric pressure, raise surface temperature, and produce water and CO2. This next terraforming idea takes us back to SpaceX founder and CEO Elon Musk. He's proposed melting Mars's polar ice caps by dropping thermonuclear bombs on them. The explosions would release carbon dioxide that would thicken the Martian atmosphere. At that point, liquid water might be able to flow on the surface, and it could start a greenhouse effect. So yeah, when you compare terraforming ideas, thermonuclear bombs might be just as unrealistic as a massive sunshield. It's pretty clear we're far from a perfect terraforming scenario. But even if we do find a plausible plan, it will still likely take thousands of years and incredible resources before we see humans living on Venus or Mars. But it's fun to dream, so which planet do you want to see terraformed? Tell us in the comments below. If you want to see more spacecrafts, check out this playlist here. And be sure to let us know in the comments what astronomical phenomena you want to learn more about. Thanks for watching Seeker. Don't forget to subscribe.